So, um, TikTok has had this menace running around on uh, TikTok telling everybody that uh, women deserve to be graped uh, for not giving him specifically the time of day, but also giving nice guys like him the time of day. Great. Those will always deserve to be for rejecting nice guys like me. In very, very recent development, I think a couple of days ago, um, he was on a live and he messed around and gave out his address where he was. So I don't know if people called the police or if the police seen that TikTok and they responded to it. So, but either way, the police stepped in, um, they pulled him out of the car and they talked to him. And I think he cut the live off from that point. What's going on, man? Oh, I'm on TikTok. Yeah. I mean, So what are you saying on TikTok, my man? Making jokes, telling people to come do something to me. What's that? Telling people to come do something to me. Oh yeah. Well, here we are. You got any weapons on you? Uh, I got that right there. The knife. You got anything else on you? No. Okay. Well, we hang up TikTok right now. Come on, step out of the vehicle. Which is dope. I'm glad that the police are taking this serious. Um, there was a report that was going around as well. I don't know if people were. Um, um, calling it in or it was something, but it was definitely in Cobb County and I am from Georgia. Cobb County does not play like that. Okay. Um, Cobb County is not one of them places you want to be locked up in. I'm just going to be honest with you. And, um, the fact that, you know, he's caught out there multiple times as there's reports on him and all that stuff, man, I don't know if they're going to take his TikTok down for good or perma ban him, but he's absolutely, um, caught. Now, let's go into some other things as well, because he has some other clips show up on the timeline as well, where he is catfishing women. He is um, on a Tinder site or whatever, and uh, he's he's catfishing women. I'm sexy. This is why it's important to go through all the pictures, ladies. Sexy. What the fuck is this? <laughs> right. Women catfish on dating apps, too, and they do not get made fun of for it but when i do it i gotta get made fun of the double standards at its finest now clearly this man is is mentally not there um he's not mentally there and this sucks and i actually have a bone to pick with tiktok because um not only this was this guy blatantly doing this on tiktok and i think he received a a, a ban uh, where he wasn't able to access it for a couple of weeks but in this case, to me personally, he should have received a perma ban. There was also people going into his lives and donating to him. And I think that that's weird. I think that you're allowing or you're allowing this guy who clearly um, is outwardly saying that he's going to attack women or that women deserve this or anything like that or threatening people to come and say something to his face on lives and stuff. Um, he's threatening people to, to come find him and stuff. Um, you got to get this man up out of here on TikTok. You, he cannot be on TikTok doing craziness like that. You know you fucked up when your mother responds on a TikTok. Great. Those will always deserve to be for rejecting nice guys. All right, so let me say this. I am his mother, and I've tried for years to tell him and encourage him to get therapy and help. I've told him multiple times that you have mommy issues. Me, I'm the mama. So you have issues with me. And you need to go to therapy and get those things worked out. Because if you respect me and if you love me and don't have issues with me, then you wouldn't be attacking women for no reason at all. The only time for me, my personal belief, when a person such as him attacks women for no reason is because they have issues with their mother. Cool. But here's the thing. No one deserves that. No one deserves to be talked to any kind of way. No one deserves to be mistreated, threatened, feel unsafe, or anything like that because of his issues. His issues is his issues, and he needs to work on them. There is no excuse. Mental health is very, very, a very serious, serious issue that we have going on, right? But he knows right from wrong. 
and you know right from wrong, and you know that this is wrong, and you're continuing to do it, that means you're making a choice to do it. I have said multiple times, you're going to get your beat, or you're going to get killed because of the stuff you be saying and how you be acting and doing, because it's not funny, and there's nothing about it that's respectful. And if it don't do it to you, they're going to come do it to me, and I'm going to be the one that's getting harmed because of something you're doing. And he still, he still does it. When I ask him, hey, have you been doing X, Y, Z? No, no, I don't even do stuff like that. And then I have people messaging me telling me that he's doing it. I don't appreciate that because I don't think that way. I don't talk that way. And I don't condone those types of behaviors. As of recently, I told him, don't come around me. You can't come around me. You can't be near me because I'm not about to be caught up in no foolishness for you. And I do feel sorry for her as well because this has to be embarrassing for a mother. Now, again, I don't know when, you know, I, I think that he's really young. I think he's in his 20s or something like that. He is a grown man now, so she's absolutely right. She can't really force him to go get help or receive help. But I wonder how far this has got. You get what I'm saying? Um, I also want to acknowledge the fact that she acknowledges that he might have some underlying issues with his mother or his being raised situations or things about himself. Um, he definitely seems insecure with himself. And I think that that's an issue as well. Audience doesn't care about your mental health, clearly. Uh, whether they plan on pulling up on you or whatever the case may be, they don't care about your mental health either. They're going to try and, and, and put you in these awkward situations. So men, go out there and, and get help, man. Go go see, th see therapy. Stay away from social media apps if you're having these types of feelings and, and trying to get away with these type of feelings.